color grading is a crucial step in video production that many beginner editors often overlook. In many YouTube videos, especially in small channels, I encounter the same error – incorrect color grading. This is probably because they don't know how to work with colors, and in this video I will teach you how to color your video effectively, making it look stunning and keeping your viewers engaged. Now, firstly, remember that color grading is just one part of the whole production process. Yes, it's a powerful technique that can significantly change a video's appearance, but it's not a magic fix. To make color grading work its best, your video needs to be well shot in the first place. The location should have depth and details, and the video itself must be properly exposed, have the right white balance, low noise, and so on. If your video lacks these basic qualities, color grading won't turn it into a masterpiece. Moreover, color grading won't fix mistakes made during filming. It can enhance and transform colors, but it can change the composition, framing, camera movement, or other shooting aspects. So before diving into color grading, focus on how you shoot the video itself. Having good source material is essential for color grading to work its magic to the fullest extent. Let's say you have already shot a beautiful video with the correct exposure and so on, what's the next step? How do you choose a color palette? Before selecting a color scheme, it's important to understand the different options available for color grading. There are three main parameters to consider – hue, saturation, and brightness. However, many people mistakenly focus only on hue when they talk about color grading, which is not entirely accurate. So let's explore these parameters and learn how to work with them. Hue refers to the dominant color in an image. This parameter allows you to fine-tune the video's color palette. For example, you can change warmer colors like oranges or reds to cooler colors like blues or greens. This adjustment can create a certain atmosphere or enhance the mood of a scene. For instance, adding warm undertones can bring a sense of warmth and coziness, while adding cool undertones can convey a feeling of gloominess or discomfort. Saturation is responsible for controlling the intensity of colors in an image. By increasing saturation, colors become brighter and more vibrant, while decreasing saturation makes them paler and more gentle. Adjusting saturation can be useful for directing attention to specific objects or establishing a particular atmosphere in a scene. For instance, many superhero movies nowadays feature bright yet toned down colors, which contribute to a more realistic and grounded atmosphere. Brightness, on the other hand, determines the overall lightness of the image. Increase in brightness makes the image brighter and more lively, while decrease in brightness results in a darker and more intimate tone. Brightness manipulation is a powerful technique in film and video production. Let's take another look at superhero movies. In newer films, many battle scenes have vibrant but dark colors. This is not only helps create a serious atmosphere, but also serves to conceal any shortcomings in computer graphics. Well, these three parameters are the primary ones in color grading, and setting them up in Movavi Video Editor is incredibly easy. If you don't feel like manually adjusting sliders, the program offers a wide selection of filters and built-in LUTs. The built-in color grading tools will help you achieve the best look of your video with just a few clicks. The video editor is a part of the Movavi Unlimited subscription, a comprehensive and user-friendly platform that combines the best of Movavi into one accessible package. With this subscription, you gain access to video editing, photo editing, screen recording, file conversion, and more. The subscription includes nine programs and a one year of unlimited access to the effects store, all for the price of a single app. Using Movavi Video Editor is incredibly straightforward. Whether it's managing your footage, creating effects for your videos, or retouching photos, everything can be done with just a few clicks. Unlike its pro counterparts, Movavi Unlimited runs smoothly even on average computers, making it accessible to almost everyone. And get ready to have your mind blown, folks. Movavi's got a deal that's too good to pass up, an 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off, so don't wait, hit the link and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. Trust me, this is one offer you don't want to miss. Now let's move on to choosing a color palette. And to choose the one for you, we should 
should look at movies for inspiration. The first scheme is contrasting colors. This approach relies on using opposing colors to create a strong contrast and a dramatic effect. A classic example is Michael Bay's Transformers. Bay often combines bright oranges with deep blues to achieve a striking contrast and a dynamic feel. This type of color grading is the simplest and most straightforward to do. The second color scheme is analogous. This scheme combines opposite colors with their neighboring shades on the color wheel. It creates a more balanced and harmonious look. Director Wes Anderson is known for his vibrant movies where he frequently uses analogous schemes. For instance, in the Grand Budapest Hotel, he combines purple with pink and yellow to create a lively image. The third scheme is the unicolored approach. This scheme revolves around using one main color throughout the entire picture to create a unified atmosphere. A well-known example is The Matrix, directed by the Wachowski sisters, famous for its green hue. The green reflects the world of virtual reality, giving it a cold and computer simulated feel. The fourth scheme is complementary. Here, the image is dominated by colors that are neighboring each other on the color wheel. This helps create a comforting atmosphere and a sense of unity. A great example of this is Jean-Pierre Jeunet's film, Amelie. In many scenes, the dominance of reds, yellows, and oranges creates a warm atmosphere, kind of like summertime fantasies. Now, these are not the only options. The number of color combinations is huge. The choice depends entirely on you and your creative ideas. What mood do you want to create? What emotions do you want to evoke in viewers? Answering these questions will be the key to choosing the perfect color scheme for your video. Movavi Video Editor offers several ways to do color grading, as I mentioned earlier. The first method is manual, where you can configure all parameters by hand. Within the video settings, you can adjust brightness, saturation, hue, and many other parameters. However, if you prefer a quicker option, you can use LUTs. LUTs are like pre-made color grading settings, and the Movavi Video Editor provides a wide range of built-in LUTs to match different styles and moods. Each LUT creates a unique look and there are plenty of effects to choose from. You can even add your own LUTs or purchase them from the effects store. Now let's talk about the importance of color grading on YouTube. Unlike cinema, YouTube videos vary wildly in the content and style, and each video tells a different story. Simply making videos super colorful and bright won't work. Viewers have numerous options on YouTube and if they don't like the visual appeal of your video, they will easily move on to another Another one, hence color grading on YouTube works on a different level. Eye-catching and impactful videos tend to retain viewers for longer, which is crucial for audience engagement. A well thought out color grading can help make the video more interesting and correctly create the drama, making it more captivating for viewers. This in turn improves viewer retention and the duration of their watch sessions. So don't underestimate the importance of color grading. The better the grading, the better the performance performance of your video. Color grading is an essential element for any video, and with some effort you can master it. And as you see, it's really easy to do in Movavi Video Editor. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.